hello guys welcome to my channel today I'm gonna show you how you can perform TFTP recovery on unify access point so let's get started first make sure that you connect your unify access point directly to your computer using the PoE adapter now press and hold the reset button until you see the lights alternating between blue white and off Once it is in TFTP mode, as you can see that the lights are alternating. This means that the device is in TFTP mode. So let's get back to the computer and perform the steps to flash the firmware on Unify Access Point. Now you will need to download an application called Pumpkin. I will leave a link in the description so that you can download it easily. And also make sure to download the latest firmware for Unify access point as per your model in my case I am using Unify AC Pro so I have already downloaded the firmware for the same once you have the pumpkin software and firmware downloaded make sure to disable your Wi-Fi connection on your computer if applicable and then you will need to go to network and sharing center and set static IP address then right click on local area connection click on properties and click on internet protocol version select it and double click on it then click on use the following IP address set static IP address to 192.168.1.25 subnet mask to 255.255.255.0 and default gateway to 192.168.1.20 click on OK click on OK again and close out of local area network now double click on pumpkin application once you double click you will see an icon at the bottom an orange color icon double click on it it will open an interface for pumpkin application once the pumpkin application is open click on put file and then click on this browse icon navigate to the firmware file which you had downloaded for unify select it and click on open then in the remote host put the IP address as 192.168.1.20 which is a default IP address of unify access point then click on OK it will transfer the firmware file on unify access point as you can see that it is transferring the firmware file on unify access point and it will make some sound once it has successfully transferred the file as you can see that the unify access point is blinking blue and white it will take some time to flash the firmware on access point and your access point will reboot automatically it may take up to 10 to 15 minutes so make sure that you do not unplug the access point from your computer let it finish it will automatically reboot now as you can see that the access point is booting or restarting Now if you see that the light is steady white that means we have successfully flashed the firmware on unify access point and we have successfully finished the TFTP recovery process. Now if you open your unify controller as you can see that my access point is pending adoption. So you can just click on adopt and set up your unify access point. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like my videos, 
please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this.